don't forgive me for this trap shit. Sergeant Smack make it backflip. Telly Hank it with the action. With the vital speaking Spanish. Frank Matthews, how I vanish. Poof. Came back like I'm King Tut. Go BBS is on a beamer. When Fat Cat was tearing queens up. Fall off the prop and not the re up. Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus. Uptown like I'm Baby Man. Just caught a touchdown. I guess I'm going to talk about an incident that um, brings up a person that you kind of spoke on previously, Kelvin 50 Cent Morin, and another guy that a lot of people might know by the name of Demencio Benson. Now, yeah, in the book, you talked about a night at the Empire Skating Rink where you was not there, and a fight occurred um, between the two of them. L- Give a slight glimpse. I think um, some people might be familiar with how you met 50 Cent. But um, speak on that and speak on actually how you met Demencio also. Or how do you know Demencio? Like I said, I met 50 Cent on Halsey Street. You know, Halsey between Patch and Ralph in the Bedford Stuyvesant section. Shit, me and 50 Cent go back to, like, I don't know, I was like six or seven. And he was like one year younger than me. Like his cousin pop michelle cannon they live it on that block and basically right now where it's like we used to play run up and down the block and do a little bit shit that all kids did back then and you know it's like crazy once you build that bond it's like you never lose that bond even after i lost left bedford stuyvesant you know as time went on you run back into these guys once you feel you know, your friends are like family y'all still remain that way and I can remember when he came through Rikers Island, and you know, I'm talking about everybody wanted to get him because I'm talking about we in C74. I'm 17, he's 16, and these cats over there, like, you know, 20, 21, they want to get his ass because 50 always was one devious and individual, and he was wicked with his mouth. Like to say slick and foul shit. And you know what? Some people, they wasn't going for it. And to me, it's not like I was that much bigger than 50 Cent. It's the fact that I had clout through other guys. So to me, later for that, if somebody trying to get him, I was going to get them. And you know what? My crew had my back. Yeah. And like you say with Demisio, Demisio, I met Demisio. I think we was like probably like fourteen, fifteen over there by Weeksville near Albany Project. You know, Demisio was always a cool guy, pretty boy, and he, we just was cool. So it was a situation in '84. I had just came home after doing three and a half years, and I ran into Fifty. I ran to Fifty. I just got home, and he's telling me, "Yo, come on, Glaze, man, meet me down there. Come down there to the skate skate rink Empire." Everybody used to always hang out in the Empire. I forgot what night it was. I think it was like a Tuesday or Wednesday night. And to me, I didn't go that night. And I always wished that I would have went because to me, him and Demisio got into it and they went at it. And to me, my relationship with 50, my relationship with Demisio, I knew I had the clout to squash that shit right then and there. Especially right now, if you want to squash it, and at that present time, we all had a good relationship, I would have squashed that shit. That shit would never happen. 